Oh! Hello there! General Kenobi! Didn't see you there as I'm looking for a Pokemon. Since I forgot to do that the entire time last episode. Holy crap! Love it! That's a sick looking Pokemon. Okay. Okay. What level is it? It's level 40. Yikes, that is weak. Lavit is a fire... water... type? Right, so I can't really do anything against it. Okay. Okay, Cassie's attack is 80. Yeah, so maybe if I use... dive? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, 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 okay. I will dive. It's physical, which is a weaker stat, right? And I. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Like, oh! <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, what a fantastic start to this episode. We're gonna go Ultra Ball. I want that thing. That that is one of the coolest Pokemon I've ever seen. This entire region is full of super cool Pokemon. Love it. The vent. It's a fire dragon type. I thought it was fire water. It lives within igneous crevices at the bottom of the sea and absorbs geothermal energy. When prey comes close, it spits out scalding hot water. I could have sworn I thought it was a fire water type or fire ground even but fire dragon damn this region loves dragon types okay what would I name this thing a few minutes later five minutes later Eleven minutes later. Okay. After a lot of thinking and consulting with my friends, I have settled upon the name Imperial. That sounds pretty good. I think I'll keep it. Imperial was transferred to my PC. Great. Uh uh oh, he's with Arceus. That is not good. There he is, Imperial. Level 40, not too shabby. Though we've already got a fire type and we've already got a dragon type, so you're just gonna, you know, stay there for a bit. Now, I know I mentioned last time that we were gonna, you know, go find all the other ninja masters, but I have decided against it, and we are going to instead be fighting the gym leader. Now, have I trained up much? Not really. Not really, not too much, honestly. The party is still, you know, relatively... You know, okay. Clark is level 50, a bit weak than everyone else. Winter and Jean are 51. Cassia, Festus, and Marvin are 53. Though I feel, you know, battling the trainers to get into the place will probably, you know, help us out a bit. Alright, we're off to fight. The last gym leader of the bunch. Is it here? Is this it? Yes. You know what? I feel like we could actually, you know, do a bit of training with some people that may or may not be living here. Uh, who are you again? So, you have arrived to see me at my very lowest point. Oh, it's the previous... It's the previous Hokage, stricken by shameful by my shameful defeat, so easily overcome by a child, I cannot show my face outside my village until I have mastered the six sacred arts under Grandmaster Yoshitaka. But so long as his ace disciples are scattered to the winds, my training remains incomplete. I must grow stronger. You and I will have our fated rematch one day. Oh, it's not today. Okay, I thought that we were actually gonna, you know fight the dude again. Anyways, let's move on to the next house and see if we can beat anyone else up. Ooh. Oh, hello there. I'm Fennel, a scientist from the Unova region. 
I have decided to come here on vacation, since this region has an interesting and unique culture. And this is Dream, my Musharna. Musha. I specialize in research on Pokemon creams. I even helped build a device called the Dream Visualizer. Using Musharna's powers, I can look inside the dreams of Pokemon. It is truly fascinating. Huh? You're saying that there's a little girl in Vanessa City who's trapped in her dream? That's a little outside my expertise, I sp mostly specialize in Pokemon dreams. Still, there must be something I can do to help. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to Vanessa City to see if I, if I can help this girl. After all, what's the point of science if they can help make people's lives better? I'll see you there, I hope. Oh! Wow! Wow! That's a whole other storyline! Alright. Oh. White tiles 13, black tiles 17. 7. Um. Hey, would you look at that? My game is lagging like hell. You made it here at last. This is the 8th and final gym in Tandor. This building is a shrine to the gods Aotius and Mutius. And the gym leaders are the prince and princess of the ninja clans. Not only that, but they're said to be mortal voice of gods themselves. To reach them, you have to solve a puzzle. Remember, Aotius and Motius are all about balance. Don't freak out, okay? You can handle this. I believe in you. Okay, so my guess... Yep. Um, okay, never mind. My guess was that we had to make it even? But this doesn't look particularly even to me. Uh, here we are, we're farting our first trainer. Rumbling thunder, then flash! The whole sky lights up! Lightning cleaves the air! Alright, can the battle itself- Okay, the battle itself seems like it's running nice. Vulture! Ooh! That is... A flying type. And I should be alive. A crit. Big yikes for you. Please tell me you're a flying type. Yup, let's go, winter. Winter, awesome. Okay, 705, send in Jolteon. Oh, we'll just send in Hephaestus. Gonna Mega Bomb. Gonna Earthquake. You're gonna die? Yeah, look at him. Oh, that is beautiful. Sunlight turned harsh. Earthquake. Aha. Yes. Yes. Hephaestus. 2100. Therium. Excuse me? Therium. Okay. Oh. oh. Whoa. What is that thing? Well. It's got sockets on its hands, and it has amp in the name, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's going to die right now. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Attaboy, zap. Ouch. Oh. Okay, something happened. Something happened and I don't know exactly what. Oh, alright. Let's fight these two dudes. The edge of a sword, finer than a single thread. Sharp as death itself. I don't know how the gym works still. Nami Ninja Izumi sent out Fryna. Oh! Ooh, I should have gone to heal. Let's send in Clark. Then we drain punch. Is it. Is Fry a steel type? Uh, probably. It's based off the Kunai, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Either way, it's dead. Sadine. We won't switch out, but we're still gonna train punch because, yes, it is faster. And it's very, very much stronger. But hopefully, it's still super effective. It still kills in one hit. It does. It does. Awesome. Do we get all our health back? We do. Awesome. Clark, you're amazing. 
Daikatuna. Uh, switch? No. Oh, look at that cry. Okay, we're gonna Drain Punch it again. Right. Yeah, Iron Man. We're good. We're good. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. There goes his HP. There it goes. Oh! Okay. Thunder Punch. Just whatever. I can give you a super potion or two later. Wow. Super effective. D Listen, hear the sound of 1,000 birds singing. They all sing for you. Great. Suki Ninja Hayato. Sent out Coilith. Hey, Winter! Winter is a dragon type. So is Coilith. Your special defense and defense are 80 and 62. Not very powerful now, are you? Like, defensive wise, you're not good. I might go into Hephaestus and Dragon Claw it. But that's probably our best bet. So we're gonna go into Hephaestus. Right. Made out of Dragon type move. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's spe it's already high special attack, got even higher. Um let's knock it out real quick now, shall we? Alright, Achilles Mega Evolve. Drought. Come on, come on. Your Mega, right? Ooh, ooh, Giga Dream. Okay, Giga Dream is normal effect. Um, okay. This was a mistake. Uh oh, I am scared. I am very, very much scared. What do I do? 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 What? Uh, Marvin. 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 Yeah, let's go into Marvin. Come on. Oh, what the hell do I do? Voltasu. Voltasu. Damn, that thing's a... Okay, electric flying. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's just... Psychic? Oh, it has crunch. Oh, okay. Mar Marvin lives. Marvin's a bulky boy, ain't he? Psychic almost killed. Ooh. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. This is, this is fine. This is fine. You know, hyper potion and we're good. Right, 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 right. Alright, very good. And Koalith, once again. Hey, it lost its special it's it lost its special attack level. So that is superb. And it used it again. Yep, alright, cool. That's psychic it. Ooh, that's good one. Uh not very effective. Crit. Okay, crit. Hmm. Crit, crit, crit. Come on, lower? Oh, I didn't lower special attack. Okay, we're gonna go with Psychic again. As long as Giga... Oh! I was about to say, as long as Giga Drain doesn't crit, we should be good. And hey, we are. Oh! Yes! Coilus is gone. Hey, Jay. We don't have any rock moves. It's fire flying. So... Uh, fire flying, fire flying. Not Clark. Definitely not Clark. Alright. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna send him cats. It's you know the easiest choice. Alright, page you. Page you. Can't use mud bomb, so we're just gonna go ahead and surf. Flamethrower, screw off. Get away from me. Alright. You surf. It's halfway? Full. Yo, one hit KO. Mm, let's go, Cassie. Hey, bit of HP back with Shelbo. Not bad. You blew me away. Wow. All right, cool. I'm gonna go heal up. All right. Ooh, look at these patterns. They real. They rearrange themselves when you go back out and back in. So we need less black tiles. Ooh, hey, we did it. That's it, we have achieved balance. A tiny trickle joins with others to form a raging waterfall. 
Ranger. Alright, Nami Ninja Ionia. Sent out Glaceon. Yeah. Just gonna go into the fastest flamethrower. Ooh, Blizzard. Ooh, it missed. That is quite good. Now, let's get rid of you. Um, if Blizzard has increased accuracy in Hail, does that mean it has less accuracy in Drought? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, hey, no, never mind. Glaceon is down in one hit. That is also nice. Alright, Clark and Hephaestus both gain a thousand experience. Titan Ice. Will I switch my Pokemon? Uh, tough question to ask. Okay. Uh, you know what? No, I'm just gonna stay in with Hephaestus, because look at that special attack! 162! And Clark, I mean, sure, his attack is admirable, 123, but that's nothing compared to 162. Alright, Titan Ice. Is Titan Ice pure steel, or is it ice steel? Because, I mean, it is a tight it is a ship after all, and ships are made out of steel. Nami is a bad send-in Glavinug. We have someone to deal with such beasts. Marvin, would you care to knock this thing out? Please. Uh, the reason I didn't send in Clark to just, uh, Giga Drain it is because, I don't know, it seems like that Pokemon could learn Psychic. Based off of appearances. I hope you're satisfied. Yeah, I, I won. I'm very much satisfied. Okay. Who do I have out front? Clark. Alright, boom, pow, a flower blooms across the darkened sky. It's a firework. Cool. Suki Ninja Potaru. Sent out a lavent. Your fire dragon. Ugh, ow. Okay. Hephaestus. Hephaestus. Yeah. Hephaestus. Mega Evolve Earthquake. Dead. Level 56. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, yikes. Come on. Okay. Good. Good. When it Mega Evolves, it gets a boost to its defense, no? It, it gets a boost to its defense, no? Please tell me it gets a boost to its defense. Alright, Earthquake, the fire type. Yes! Fast is so strong! Oh, what a chat. Oh, oh my god! It's the little. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's. Uh, it's not. Ice type. It's fire type, that's for sure. <gasps> and it doesn't have levitate. And it's not a flying type either. So, it's dead? Oh, what? Going to Earthquake once more. Okay, it didn't miss. Yeah, let's go. How fast is Krillvolver. Krillvolver. Um, water, fire. Odd combination. We've only seen that with Volcania. So, we're gonna send in Castle. It's a water type. There's no way in hell Hephaestus is gonna survive the bubble from that thing. Look at that! Look at that thing, I love it. Alright, Mud Bob. Revolver goes first. Okay. Okay, that's quite powerful. That did 95 damage. Um, hey, it's also kind of weak. Revolver's dead, let's go! And burned out. We beat these two, which means we could go heal again. All right, let's look at the giant yin yang. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, that was a third trainer. Dang, I never noticed you. A full moon rises over the black ocean waves. Suki and Nami. Cool. Don't know what that means. Nami Ninja Ayumu sent out Aromastis, huh? Huh, we're getting out of here, Clark. Uh, Marvin doesn't know any steel type moves. 
Okay, what are fairies weak to? They're weak to steel and poison. Fire does resist them. Is this a, you know, a method of searching? Um, any reason to find, finding any reason to send it? Hephaestus? Yes. But hey, if it works, it works. We are going to Earth Flamethrower. That thing is definitely dead, right? Has to be. Well, it's not super effective, so maybe it might live with a little bit of XP, of HP. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Hephaestus, yikes! You burned that thing to a crisp. Uh, Miasmatic. Miasmatic is a. Uh, well, it's based off the Plague Doctor, so poison, probably. I could send out Marvin. Or I could stay with the best is just, you know, Earthquake. Is it Psychic? Well, considering that Aromasis was the last Pokemon, the previous Pokemon, it might be fair. Alright, yeah, level 55, look at that. Miss Magius. That is a ghost type. And we don't really have many Pokemon that can deal with ghost types. So, I'll you know, probably just, you know, staying with the Festus. You know, flamethrower it. Burn the witch. Burn the witch, yeah! <laughs> oh god, am I relying on Festus too much? Nah. Yo, our destiny is calling! Yeah! Alright. Is it? Oh, this- oh, no, 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 I- Oh, I didn't mean to start the battle. Welcome, challenger. I am Princess Hinata of Clan Suki. And I am Prince Kaito of Clan Nami. We are the leaders of this gym, but more than that, we are wife and husband too. 100 years ago, our clans were at war. It was a time of violence, bloodshed, and death. But in that time of darkness, a light shone through. Two souls met and forged a love strong enough to vanquish the chaos. It was the beginning of a new era for our people, our gods. Once embel, em, em, what is that word? Embe, emblazoned on war pennants, came together as a symbol of strength and harmony. And the two whose love ended the war, the gods gave them their greatest blessing. We became the mortal avatars of our gods' will. Now, 100 years later, we live on. We lead our clans justly and with great love. We are the keepers of this temple and the leaders of this gym. Trainer, you may challenge either of us, but know that when you do, you cannot rest until you have defeated us both. When you are ready, speak to the one you wish to challenge first. Ooh, okay, I thought it was gonna be a double battle. Anyways, I'm gonna go heal. Not... Um, okay, so... Uh... Well, considering that these two are over here, I'm guessing that you're the knight user, so you might have... Dark types, you know, that sort of stuff, and you're light user. So you might have, like, what, Jolteon? You might have Umbreon, maybe? I don't know, maybe Lucian seems like easy pickings. So, who's up front? Clark. Clark? Yeah! Let's fight this guy. So, you've chosen to face the dark fear of nighttime. That's brave. I use Pokemon that hide in shadows and wait to strike when their foes are unaware. We embody the very essence of Ninja. With all of Mewtios' cleverness, we will test him. Kaito. Leader Kaito sending an Umbreon. Alright, alright, good, 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 I made the right call. Let's drain punch it. It's probably fast. Oh no, we're fast. Ooh, yikes. Okay. Umbreon is pretty, you know, bulky. Oh, that was a crit. I kinda wish it wasn't, so that we had a bit more health to suck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, that's, that, that's, that's really, really cool. Okay, so, we have to fight both of them, one after the other. We don't quite get a chance to rest, so 
This is good. Uh, how many Pokemon do you have? I already took down one. Uh, Luchabra. Luchabra. Fighting type. But, oh, you guys remember the little scrappy Chupacabra thing? Pretty sure it was a poison. Yeah. Alright, Marvin. Psychic and a zip. Easy. Easy. E easy kill. Okay, Luchabra went first. Whatever. I'm still psychic, so it's normal effective. Oh, okay. Defense fell, special defense fell. That means you are surely dead, right? Oh. Oh. That's good, that's good, that's good. Luchabra painted. And hey, Marvin's level 54. Light screen. Marvin, that move doesn't damage the opponent. Get out of here. Reflect. Get out of here. Stop learning these stats. Volley card. Volley card. Okay, that is a dark type. I'm pretty sure it's a poison. Oh, remember one of the pirates? I'm pretty sure he had like a volley card that knew Giga Drain, so he can't send a cast. I'm gonna go with the best this time. Let's go. Oh, volley card. Okay, volley card. Shouldn't be a problem anymore. Cool. Oh, yes! It's a one hit KO. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Point B. Arbok. Well, we're already Mega Man. So. Oh, God. Uh oh. I see a great future ahead of you, but are you ready for this? I certainly hope so. Uh, do I have an X? I have nothing. I have no battle items. Uh oh. Okay, it's gonna take two earthquakes. Which, you know, it's fine. Petrify? What? Oh, my speed fell. Who cares? I'm still faster. And it dealt half. Exactly half. And it missed. Gunk shot missed. Which means we can. We, we got a free earthquake! Free earthquake, baby! Oh, let's go, Critical Hit. Yes! Kaito, you have looked into the darkness and have overcome your fear. Now, you have managed to defeat my team, but as day follows night, you have yet to prove yourself to my wife. Okay, please, please, can, can I like, I don't know, heal my Pokemon? Said without rest, can I switch? It is time to face the bright rising sun. My Pokemon are strongest in the sunlight. Careful not to look directly at them lest they blind you. Prepare to be tested by the power of Aotus. And we're going right off the bat. Alright, cool. Hinata. Zento Flareon. I was expecting a Jolteon. Never mind that. We could always go into Cassie. Use Flare Boots. Okay. Hey, what happens if we just let it damage itself out? Because that seems like the only move that it's using. What if I surf? Because it dealt 70 damage. <gasps> we go first. They're already hurt. They're already, you know, pretty hurt. Yes! Critical hit! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, Cassie restored some HP and gave some experience. Koalid. Dang! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It no doubt has a dragon type move, so I can't go into winter. Its stats are just too low. I'm gonna go into a fastness, okay? And so it's such a shame too, I would have liked to, you know, have winter level up a bit. So, we're gonna Dragon Claw. We're gonna Dragon Claw it first. Super effective move, right? Drought. You know, Flamethrower might actually have done more. Because despite Dragon Claw being twice effective, Flamethrower 1 gets Stab, 2 is boosted by Rain, and 3, Hephaestus' special attack is quite higher than his physical. You know, just a bit of. Oh, never mind. G Gallon? What? Gallon? Gallon? What in the world is that thing? Oh, it doesn't matter, it's Ted. 
Awesome. Confessus, bunch of experience. Ooh. Okay, Koalith again. Hey, guess what, buddy? You just lost your special attack buff. Uh, you used it again. Free flamethrower. Let's go. Alright. Let's see if it knocks it out. <gasps> it does! Hephaestus, you are the best! Yeah, level 56. Flare Blitz? Okay. I love that move. It's great. But one, I'm terrified of recoil damage. I'm terrified of you accidentally killing yourself. And two, your, your attack isn't... You know, flamethrower is fine for now. Flamethrower is good. If you want to learn flame burst, probably Whimsicott. That's a grass type. By the blessing of Aotius, it's gonna mega evolve, ain't it? It's flamethrower. It is. It is gonna mega evolve. A mega Whimsicott. Look at that. Ain't that nice? Mega Arbok looked really cool too, very Medusa inspired. It's dead. <laughs> Yo, my team was so underleveled. Well, I mean, not super underleveled, it's just a couple. But still, we were underleveled. You have faced the bright light and not flinched away. Oh, yes. Congratulations. I must admit, I'm impressed. The blessing of Aeotius and Musius are upon you now. His fierce power and her serene clarity will guide you. As an emblem of their love, you have earned this badge. I got the Zen badge, baby. Dang, now I gotta go into Photoshop and just edit it in. Crack. There we go, Zen badge. And with that, we've gotten all eight gym badges. Yes! As a result of their blessing, all Pokemon will obey you even when traded. You also deserve this TM. <gasps> Solar Beam, that's a great move. Solar Beam is a powerful move based around absorbing sun's energy to overcome your foes. Use it wisely and it will help. And this one, after all, you defeated as well. Taunt. Oh, wow. That's real useful. You, you will able to use your foes' anger against them. Using it wisely should create opportunities for you in battle. Solar Beam, I'm happy with. Not really so much taunt. Alright. Uh... Hey, cutscene. Okay, we're calling Professor Bamboo. Or he's calling us. Inferno! Hey there, so it's true? You just got your ace gym badge? You managed to beat Kaito and Hinata. Wow, that's incredible, Inferno. Of course I knew you could do it. From that day you left my lab with your starter at your side, I thought to myself, that kid is really something special. And wouldn't you know it, I was right. You've gone above and beyond everybody's expectation. You and Theo both. So what's next for you? Well, I think that's pretty clear. The championship awaits. It looks like they're starting to hold this year, despite the nuclear Pokemon. I guess they aren't letting a little environmental disaster get in the way. Between you and Theo, those other competitors don't stand a chance. Huh? Me? I've been hard at work trying to find a cure for the nuclear Pokemon, but since we still don't know what's causing the meltdowns, it's slow going. I'm sure we'll get a breakthrough soon, though. That's it? Oh, nope. Another call. Oh. Sorry, Inferno, I've got an incoming call. So let me just hang up on them. It's from the Ranger HQ in Beale Beach. This must be something very urgent. I'll call you back later, okay? Beale Beach? Uh oh. Those sirens. Huh? What's going on? Is the village under attack? I'm scared. Please remain calm. There has been a potential threat. For your safety, we are evacuating everybody to a safe house for the time being. Citizens of Tsukinami Village, please come with me. Now wait just a second, what's this about a threat? I'm not going anywhere until I know what's going on. <sighs> we have a reason to believe that there will soon be an attack on the nuclear power plant to the east, similar to the attacks in West Tandor. Now, if you'll come with me, what? Why would somebody attack a power plant? Yeah. And how do you know? And how do you lot know about it ahead of time? Something smells mighty fishy to me. Enough. Oh, it's the gym leaders. Cease your chatter at once. The sacred leaders themselves. This must be serious. Listen to the rangers. You must follow them to the safe house immediately. At once, your majesty. Hey, uh, uh, guys, can I come? Please. 
Apologies. The people of Tsukunami are not accustomed to taking orders from outsiders. They listen only to the divine word of the gods. For many years we have defended ourselves from threats. However, we are not prepared for dangers such as this one. Please tell us, what have you rangers discovered? We have a clue as to what is causing the power plant meltdowns. Apparently some body or something has been causing them on purpose. Our tip told us that they were on the move and are heading to power plant Omicron because it is the last remaining plant in Tandor. We know what happened in Vanola Town, something that, that is capable of such destruction. That is not the will of the gods, therefore we must fight. You will find the armies of Tsukinami at your service. Good, we'll need strong capable trainers to help with the battle of the nuclear Pokemon. Already, they are gathering in greater numbers on the island. I have heard of these corrupted Pokemon. The gods cannot allow this corruption to spread any further. Uh oh. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to retrain my team because I might kick out somebody. Because nuclear types are effective against every single type, except steel, I think. So Marvin, he'll be safe. However, however, that still means that everyone is two times weak to any nuclear type move, which could present itself as a problem. Uh oh. I will gladly lay down my life for the sake of the clan. This, that is our oath. We are at your service, O oh great leaders. Make haste to the eastern power plant. We shall defend Tsukinami with the power of the gods on our side. Fly swiftly, my Pokemon. Uh, hey, I want to use fly. They're a bit kooky on this village, aren't they? So, Inferno, are you heading to the power plant too? Kaelin is headed there as we speak. He will be looking for you when he arrives. Plus, we could use another strong trainer like you to help us battle against the nuclear Pokemon. Am I coming? Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I going? Yes. Heh, <laughs> I knew we could count on you. Ever since you saved me from that nuclear tank Kuna Beal Beach, I knew you were a hero, just like your father. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Thank you. You should take the chance to stock up on some more battle supplies from the mark before we head out. Just let me know when you're ready to go. But hurry, there's no time. Alright, ready to go? Yeah. Take us there, Staraptor. I want a Staraptor. Staraptor's my favorite flying type Pokemon. And then, well, you know, bird Pokemon. <gasps> Inferno, you've arrived at last. Yo, Inferno, but you weren't expecting me to see here, huh? We each flew here as soon as we heard the news from the Rangers. Whoever the anonymous person that was sent to them uh, sent them that info, they were right on the money. This island is swarming with nuclear Pokemon. We don't know where they are coming from, but one thing is certain, they are trying to break into the power plant. I have never seen a nuclear Pokemon act like this. Normally they are vicious and mindless monsters, but these Pokemon are coordinated. They seem to be following some sort of plan. Do you think it's possible they are obeying a trainer's orders? We considered that, but these are wild Pokemon. Pokemon will still work on them. That is strange. It is essential that we prevent the nuclear Pokemon from breaking and entering the power plant. Otherwise, they might detonate the reactor, which would release massive amounts of radiation across this island and the cities beyond. Inferno. Theo, I have seen the both of you battle, so I know how capable you are as trainers. Do your best to subdue as many nuclear Pokemon as you can. We must protect this power plant and all of these tandem at any cost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, Inferno, I'm gonna show them nuclears and I'm not afraid of any of them. Come at me, bro! Look at him go. That it? Okay, well, this seems like the perfect time to end off an episode. So, we we got our Sun Badge, right? We're in the end game now. And nuclear Pokemon are on the rampage at the next power plant. Who would have guessed? Yeah, and there's no way out. It's not like we can surf or anything. Oh, wait, never mind, you can. Real quick. Yeah, there is nothing down here. Oh my god. Wahagoop. So, uh... One, that's our encounter. And two, yeah, we're gonna be fighting quite a number of these things next time. Okay, what do we do? Thunderbolt? Probably, you know, something weak. Or actually, let's throw a Pokeball. Let's throw a quick Ultra Ball. Sure, why not? See if maybe we could, you know, catch it on a whim. One, two. Oh, shoot. I know that if I so much as touch you, you're dead. And I really want to catch you. I'm going to go into Clark. 
And I'm going to leech seed you. Nothing more, nothing less. If we don't catch it now, we lose our encounter for the route. Now, please stay in the damn ball. One, two, three, click. God. Why? Why are you so cruel? It's nighttime. It's 11.20 as I'm recording this. Well, hour and 20 minutes after all. Oh, thank God. Oh. Finally, Hagu. We got the nuclear type. So what? Is it nuclear electric or nuclear poison? It exudes a slime, sticky slime that protects its soft flesh. It traps prey in the slime and delivers a lightning shock through its waistcoats. Heku, slime wear Pokemon. Uh, okay, what am I gonna name this male nuclear Haku? Hey, it's green, it's kinda goopy. Let's call you Goop. I'm a good namer. Huh, <sighs> well, I guess we found our encounter. And I mean, hey, it's a Haku, I like it. Alright, well, I guess that's it. It took me 20 minutes to catch that thing. Right? Ah. <sighs> Uh, that's gonna be it for today, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, I don't know. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.